Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to show you quickly how to solve a simple linear regression problem using StatCrunch. This is in your homework, and we're given a table here of the hours spent studying, which is our x variable, our predictor variable, and our y variable, the test score in hours. And they want us to come up with a regression equation, select the correct graph, and then predict the values for these four values of x. So let's go ahead. We're going to click on Open in StatCrunch. There's our data in StatCrunch. And all we need to do is go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear, our x variable. They tell us is our spent studying our response variable y is the test score we don't need to change the where group by we're going to leave the hypothesis test set as it is leave everything else the way it is except we want to put in our prediction values so we just put our insert there and let me scroll this down we've got three four values of x so we put in four comma 3.5, whoops, that should be a 0.5, comma, 112, comma, 2.5. And we want a line plot, and that's all I'm going to get for right now, and click Compute, drag this up here, and expand it a bit so we can see everything. We've got a lot of information there. Let me go ahead and drag it up so you can see everything. Still can't see everything. Let me pop. There we go. I finally got it opened up. We've got our correlation coefficient of 0.98, which shows a very strong correlation. We've got our intercept of 37.7 and our slope of 5.11. And let me see if that's the answer. Yeah, 5.112, 37.68. Yeah, we have that. And now we want to get our graph. So let's click over here since I selected that. And we've got a graph, but it doesn't look like any of the options. And that's because you can see that the x and y axis intercept at 0. And StatCrunch here has not given me the y axis at 0. So I'm going to click on that little... Uh, icon there, the three bars, click on Y axis, and I want to put my minimum to be zero. Now I can compare the graphs that I have, and it looks like that one. You can see that uh, we've got two below, one above, one below, and two pretty close on, and that pretty well matches that one. And obviously these two are sloping the wrong way and that one the pattern of dots don't match so make sure you remember how to uh, change those x and y intercepts again just click on the little icon either select x to set the minimum for the x or we select y to get the minimum for y and now i'm going to go back here we've got our predicted values of y for x We've got 58.13, 3. Excuse me, 55.57 for 3.5, 99.02, and but let's pause a minute. This one x value there, 12. Our largest x is six, so 12 is way down here. That's not in a reasonable range, therefore it's not really a valid prediction. So anyway, I hope this quick and dirty shows you how you can uh, get your equations, get a plot that resembles the real one on the homework, and then get your predicted values. Hope this helps.